all students in high school have to do some sort of charity or service work and that is incorporated in the whole curriculum, whether it be through REACH or through CAS or through service learning. This is really important partly for the students to feel like they belong in the world and that they can make a difference and have an impact. And it also teaches them really uh, valuable skills in collaboration, in project management, and just learning that things don't always go exactly to plan. And contingency planning is a really excellent skill that comes from all of the charity work that we do here. It makes the student also stand out when they come to apply for university. You know, how they've been helping in the organization of a charity activity and making it come from the starting point to a finishing point. Whether that activity was successful or not, it's a, a learning experience. I think more importantly, um, our students become aware of a more global issue and uh, when they get involved in our charities and do fundraising events and awareness uh, programs, they get to see how other people live in other parts of the world, the difficulties they face, and perhaps that makes them more aware of uh, their own lives and the difference between their own lives and those of others around the world. Watu is a charity that has the main goal of supporting the education of people in Tanzania and it was founded in 2000 in Norway and has since then traveled to Italy and here Geneva. In uh, secondary school we fund uh, for the creation of many science lab in order to further scientific education while we also offer scholarships such as to uh, prospective law students and scientific students. Some examples of things we do to support our projects in Tanzania are sales that we do where we sell products that are made in Tanzania that we have paid people in Tanzania to make and then brought here to sell, as well as things made by our members here, including rings, stickers, and a book. Our charity is called uh, the Serenji Orphans Appeal and we support the orphanage in Serenji um, in Zambia. And um, there are currently 28 primary school aged children living in the orphan orphanage. The, all the money we use goes to projects in Zambia and that's to help all of the orphans with their home, like providing a home, all of the basic needs of life, so having food and education, and also after they leave the orphanage with like university and all of those costs. Goku is a charity based in CDL that helps um, raising funds for Turkana in Kenya. Currently we're supporting a shoe drive with the objective of raising around 2,000 francs. And this shoe drive gives many children the opportunity to have shoes that they can wear to school every day trying to do food funding events, so like Pizza Fridays, before Halloween. We've made beautiful bags like this. We're also trying to do a painting activity that will contribute for Christmas, maybe giving this as a Christmas present. And Mads is one of the school charities. We are kind of different in that we can support a lot of different um, causes depending on what the students are uh, passionate about. La semaine dernière, nous avons achevé le projet de Giftbox Project où nous avons demandé à certains de nos étudiants de créer des boîtes avec euh, des jouets pour enfants dedans euh, que nous, a, que nous avons envoyé la semaine dernière à des pays en Europe de l'Est. Donc nous avons récolté des fonds en vendant des bijoux des livres de cuisine en ligne et aussi en faisant des photos booths. One of the biggest learning outcomes of being a part of a charity is empathy and service. Um, whilst in a charity, you learn to prioritize helping others um, and being supportive. You get to learn how to work collaboratively with others in organizing these fundraising events that help support various different people from around the world. I learned a lot about management and organization and how to plan an event, how to coordinate, how to communicate to people within the charity and externally to get things done. And those are skills that 
I believe will really help me in my future after high school, in jobs and university and other situations.